cereal. Hey guys, so for today's video, we are going to be making one of my favorite ever snacks, Rocky Road. Now, Rocky Road is very expensive to make, I find. However, I do have a collection of chocolate because it has just been Easter. So I thought, what a better time to actually make some Rocky Road. Just a disclaimer is that I actually do not put raisins in it. I don't like raisins. So we just have digestives, chocolate, and mini marshmallows. I don't think it's meant to take me very long, but again, I am no expert, so it may take me a bit longer. First things first, I I need to crush up some digestive biscuits. I have washed my hands by the way. In order to use less chocolate, you need to use more digestive biscuits. So I've got no idea how many I'm putting in. I'm just gonna fill the bag and see what happens. Like when you think about how much sugar is in every ingredient, you understand why it's so many calories. Therefore not good to make very often. I'm gonna zip that up. Oh, I pierced the bag. There seems to be stuff flying everywhere. Pierced the bag. See, it's disaster number one already. Lesson number one learned. Get all of the air out of it before you seal the bag. It's like making bread, this is. You really get your anger out. Oh, I've made a mess. I'm now standing in a puddle of digestives. So this is very nice for my feet. 100% digestives were the best choice. All cleaned up. Personally, I don't think this is going to be enough, but I also don't want to open the other packet of biscuits and crush it all up for then not need it. Because what am I going to do with a crushed up packet of biscuits? I think we're best at melting the chocolate, seeing how we go, and then just crushing more, and hopefully the chocolate doesn't like mess up in the meantime. But this is the lovely selection of chocolate I've got, but I am really hoping I don't have to use it all as I do like eating Easter eggs. I've also got a lid, I don't know why I've brought that. I don't want the chocolate to boil. I also really, really do not want to set my hair on fire. I'm so glad to find you getting rid of this. Cracked open my galaxy. Oh my gosh, it smells absolutely amazing. Oops. Honestly, I'm not actually the biggest fan of twirls either, so I'm going to add these in as well. That is also all of my galaxy gone, apart from the little square I'm saving to eat. <laughs> Right, it looks like we've got actually quite a decent amount now. It seems to be getting lumpier the more I leave it. I don't know, adding this in now. It really reminds me of like Rice Krispie Cakes then. Serious arm workout though. This is where it goes downhill for my mum because she absolutely hates marshmallows, but you just can't have Rocky Road without marshmallows in, so in they go. Just one thought of you chucking a hot chocolate. Again, there is absolutely no specific amount that can go in. It's too hard to stir. I literally think I'm just gonna have to give up. I don't know what's happened to the chocolate. That is very, very nice. And this is what it's looking like at the point where I am literally giving up on it. Time to put it in the fridge. One of the hardest things I find about baking is actually getting it out of like whatever tray you cook it in. So even though I know it's going in the fridge, I'm not baking it, I'm still gonna put baking paper into this just so it's easy for me to lift it out to be able to cut it. Here it goes. Wait, I messed that up. Salad tape. Nothing wrong with a bit of salad tape, no is there? Really? No there's not. I don't really want to make it deep, I'd rather have more pieces than make it any deeper. I may start another tray. Where did I put the scissors? I mean, in hindsight, I don't know what I'd do differently. I'll tell you what, because that's literally got no marshmallows in, I'm just going to add them in. Post bake. No one will ever know. There we go, boys and girls. These are my two finished trays. Now, if I recall correctly, this should take like two, two and a half hours to set properly in the fridge. My top is also now covered in chocolate, so that's gonna need washing. Finding space may be an issue. This one's the bigger one, so let's put this in first. Supermarket stacking skills coming to the test. Oh, look at that, perfect. When they are ready, I will be back to you to let you know about the result. Obviously, if I haven't eaten them all first, they very well may do that, not gonna lie. In the meantime, I need to tidy up as per usual, cause I cannot do this without making a mess. One day I will. And I'm also gonna finish off this packet of digestives. So it's about four hours later now, and I'm just gonna go and check on my Rocky Road, see if it's set. So I'm hoping that it's just gonna lift quite easily out. Just like that, thank you very much. Can't not eat those bits on the end, can you? Got my knife. Don't know how many pieces I want to make. Three, I'm trying to try and do four. So I can start halfway down this side. <laughs> Maybe it is better to follow a recipe. Oops! I'm not wasting all of this, so I'm just gonna have to pour it all in the bowl. My gosh, can you imagine pouring milk on that and eating it like cereal? Rocky Road cereal. Now, this one is a lot thinner, so maybe this one will actually be easier to cook and less likely to break. Yeah, it's definitely cutting a little bit better. 
But yeah, I don't really know what happened there. Oops. Anyway, this is the finished result. I may also update you if I do make this into cereal and pour a bit of milk on it because I think that would be very interesting. But I mean, all the pieces are a little bit misshapen. They are not symmetrical. I would not get a handshake from Paul and Bake Off. But they taste good and that's what matters. And I believe that if you store them correctly, they can also last like four weeks. I doubt they'll last that long in this house, but it's good information to know. I think it's time to try out this new cereal. So I've got my cereal. It's taking a while for my milk to go chocolatey as well. Absolutely unreal. I didn't think it was going to be that nice at all, but honestly, this is my new favourite thing. It's like when you have a chocolate bar and a glass of milk to wash it down with, but it's like it's all in one. Perfect. Genuinely can't explain how good that is. This is a serious untapped market. If you're in the cereal business, hit me up because um, I'm just going to sit here and enjoy this now. All finished. I've got chocolate on my face. There you go, guys. That is the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. I truly hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you in the next one. Bye.